Hi guys, Nick here from technemlogic.com and today we're gonna let you show how to configure the IL Blaster on your LUR TV one is with any of the device which can be controlled by remote. Before the video gets started, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the red icon down below which will definitely going to help my YouTube channel to grow. So hope you guys like it. So first, I just open up the remote control app which is pre-installed on the device. Uh, I have already configured with the Samsung TV so I just go back and here it is showing connect your super phone and TV with the same Wi-Fi but uh, right now I am not having the smart TV that's why I am not able to connect Wi-Fi with the television. Now I come to the other devices where I have already added some devices and now I just click on the add on button and TV. So you can see different companies which is preloaded on the application like Toshiba, Lenovo, Xiaomi and many other almost every top brands from China. Air condition companies using which you can control your air condition and projector also so if you are going to connect click on samsung it shows push power button and when you click it you can see that your television will go off and if it is not then it is not connecting your television and if it do it means that the ir remote of your device has been connected with the tv so like i have already opened my samsung device i have configured it like that only you can control Samsung TV with this remote. Now if you are not having any branded TV and you want to control the device like your set up box and many other devices like AC just go to universal remote add any of the name I am writing the ABC just to make you sure and after that just configure it by adding and holding the buttons which you want to on the screen so after adding like this you can control different devices on the same screen like i have already added some of the keys so this is my hathway remote which uh, i want to configure it is a indian setup box and this is a sony television which i am having which you can also configure with this uh, device so what you exactly need to do is that just uh, click on next and tap the button and just hold the button which you want to configure for a few seconds it is showing that unable to connect now i am directly making the device parallel to each other ir sensors and as you can see the remote is successfully set for this button like this you can configure all your buttons i just connect the headway remote as well the forward button the backward button and others so like this i am configuring it everything is successful and just click on next and you are done with 186 seconds now it will work i make you see that it is working by just focusing on its lens and you can see there will be a red light blinking whenever i click the button so as you can see there is a red or pink light which is showing it is due to that the, the remote has been configured and it will work and in this way i have configured my setup box my television ac it is working pretty good and I'm really impressed with this software and when I have loaded the additional app for this from play store which is any mode smart remote it is not even recognizing the IR blaster as you can see when I click on the any of the television set it uh, just scans and gives the error that your phone does not have any IR blaster or the manufacturer does not allow smartphone IR blaster to use it so this LETV 1S can only recognize the default app so guys hope you guys love this video if you want to see more of this stuff be sure to hit the like comment and subscribe button you can also follow me on twitter make sure to check out my other youtube videos so see you guys in my next video till then see ya hi guys back in another video this is nick from technemlogic.com and today i'm gonna show you the lee ecos lee 1s gaming test benchmark test and the heating test